Hello Bees Bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new knife that's dropped from QSP and it's not the QSP Penguin, but you know, there's a very good chance we're gonna show a penguin. By the way, did you know that it's free to subscribe and all that does is just tell YouTube that you enjoy the content and you wouldn't mind seeing it show up in your feeds? I had someone recently tell me they thought that it cost money to subscribe to a YouTube channel. It does not. And this, oh yeah, I'm excited about this one. I was, I was contacted by QSP and they said, hey, which one would you like to check out? And I said, how about that one in purple? And they said, sure. So thank you very much, QSP, for sending this along. But I hope you're having a fantastic day because we are checking out the new QSP Canary Folder. Yeah, you heard me. Now, they have another version that's a neck knife, and I'll show you that one here in just a minute. But this is the new QSP Canary Folder, and I am digging that purple. And how are we doing with some texture vision? Oh yeah, it has some very good texture on that G10. And look at this, we have a reversible clip. It is a ooh, nice, strong, reversible clip. It is inset into the liner so you don't have anything to grab a hold of your pocket and get snagged. Let me wipe this off real quick. Has a little bit of luby dube on it from the, the factory or from packaging because they want to keep it clean. But it does have a captive pivot with cage ceramic ball bearings in it. And does anybody have a guess of what this blade steel is? Can you see the blade? It's 14C 28 in, baby. But I just want to make sure I covered all of this. This is nice and clean. Let's get this blade out. Ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh. Okay, I am digging this. I, I like it. I like the way it looks. This bad boy is 3.74 inches when it's closed and it's 2.84 inch blade. So the blade is coming in at just under three inches. It's 6.58 inches long. So it's under the seven inch mark. It's not a big knife, but I have the feeling that the ergos are going to be really comfortable on this one. Let's see how it feels. Left and right, up and down. It is solid. How's the lockup? The lockup is right in the middle. And how about, let's see. Oh yeah, it is centered. So fit, finish, those are all really good. Nice black wash on that blade. Very clean looking. And you can tell just from the holes right here that it's gonna be lightweight. Let's get a quick weight. And I looked them up. There are 10 and I will have links to all the different, to a couple, two, three different places where you can go check out the QSP Canary and QSP knives. But this bad boy is coming in at 2.64 ounces. Wow. Okay. That is impressive. This seems like a lot more knife than a two and a half ouncer. That is very, very nice. Now my hand is four inches from here to here. Let me back out three and a half from here to here. And then from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And look at that. I'm able to get a full grip on it. There are no hot spots. It has good ergos. Just, it's that easy. It has good ergonomics. It's very comfortable. Now, before I get into the ergonomics and the action, let's do a quick size comparison. And you know what I gotta bring out, right? We have to bring out the knife model that has been on more of my videos than any other knife model in the world. It's the QSP Penguin. Now there you go. There's the QSP Penguin, there's the Canary. This is going to be a great backup knife or a primary carry. If you don't want a heavy knife or a big knife, this one, I think this is going to fit so many people's bill just because of, oh yeah, it is comfortable. I can feel the pocket clip back here getting into the ergos. When I'm holding it like this, the pocket clip is kind of a warm spot just because of how it sticks out in the back here. Now, if you have medium sized hands, I think the ergos are gonna be even that much better for you. But this isn't a heavy use knife. Although it does feel very solid, it does feel good in the hand. This isn't one I don't, I don't think you're going to be doing heavy things with. You could still make a hot dog stick or a marshmallow stick with it and open in packages. It has a very nice looking drop point blade. I'm, let's see. How's the action? The action, this it's typical of a stonewashed blade. It needs broke in just a little bit. It, it could go for a drop of QS, <laughs> a, a drop of QSP. How about a drop of KPL, knife pivot lube? I have a link and 10% off to that stuff too. Like, I, you know, I could tell you all day long. I have so many discount codes. I just can't name them all. They're down in the description and in the comments. There's always a link that leads you to a bunch of links that'll get you deals and all that kind of stuff. So, it's very snappy. The uh, thumb studs, they're grabby. Can I reverse flick it? Uh, there's just enough room to get my middle finger behind there. Not a lot. You can see here that the cutout comes down and is pretty close. So I, won't, I don't think this is one I'm gonna be doing a lot of reverse flicking with, but 
I had the feeling my index finger does grab a hold of that. Yep, this uh, you can reverse flick this easier, in my opinion, with your index finger because you do have some very nice thumb studs that have some grip on the edge. I don't know if you can see the grippage right there. Now, speaking of grippage, it does not have any jimping. So I don't have jimping to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have a complaint about jimping, but it's not there, so therefore it's not an issue. There's a nice ramp here, so I am locked in. Um, this, this is going to be a comfortable everyday carry knife. I'm digging it. I like how it feels. I like how it opens and shuts, and I do like the fact that there's so many, oh, you know what? I almost forgot to show you the other one. But as I was saying, I like the fact that you can't just get black. You can, there's so many different colors. You can get one that you like. Now here is the Canary, but this is the Canary fixed blade. It's a Canary, Canary? <laughs> it's a Canary neck knife. It is also, as far as I can remember, in 14C28N, there it is, baby. So take a look at this. That is a nice pairing. Ooh, you could have this one in the pocket, have this one around your neck. Ooh, I'm digging that. And I'll link these in there too so you can check out the neck knife. Now this one, it does have jimping. It has a very unique jimping that I myself have only seen on QSP. I don't even know what you would call this jimping. It's kind of like, almost like twisted steel. It is very unique. I like the way it feels and it does give you some grip. Not a ton of grip, but I really, really enjoy that it is different and very unique as far as all the knives. And I've and I've made, I don't know, 700 videos and I haven't seen any other brand with a knurling on top just like that. So something that I'm really enjoying about this and making this video is that I don't have a bunch of critiques to make. You know, if I wanted to point one thing out, it would be that there's no room for sharpening. So I would suggest a sharpening choil. Some folks don't care. That may or may not be an issue, but here's the thing. This is a $41 knife. For Nitro V or, or for 14C28N, $41. This is a excellent everyday carry knife. This is one that you can throw in the pocket. It's lightweight. It has very good texture. You can get different colors and configurations that you like. And it is impressive. It is a great value knife for $41. For $41, there's nothing I can find to complain about in that price range. This is a fantastic knife. I'm curious, what do you think about it? Is this your speed? Is this the kind of knife that you like? I really, really do enjoy this one and I will be carrying it. It is going to get some pocket time for sure. So go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you again in the live streams or the chats or after you've hit the thumbs up button right now, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.